morning students today we are going to start a new topic of grammar that is voice so students first of all i want to tell you there are two types of voice one is active voice second is passive voice so what is active voice when a subject performs an action and object receives a is called an active voice and what is a passive voice when an object performs an action and subject receives is called passive voice so students what is the structure of active and passive voice the structure of active voice subject plus verb plus object and what is the structure of passive voice object plus helping verb plus third form of the verb by plus subject so this is the structure of active voice this is the structure of passive voice so students now i am going to tell you the rules how to change active into passive voice start so there are rules first rule simple present tense simple present tense means subject plus first form plus object or subject plus first form plus s or es plus object these both structure change into passive voice object plus examar plus third form of the verb plus by plus subject so there is an example p writes a letter a letter is written by him so this is an active voice this is a passive voice this is the first rule simple present tense this is the active structure this is the passive structure and this is an example how to change active into passive voice now we are going to tell the second rule present continuous tense present continuous tense what is the structure of present continuous tense subject plus examar plus first form plus ing plus object and what is the passive voice of this structure object plus examar plus b plus third form of the verb by plus subject so this is the active structure this is the passive structure now example he is writing a letter the passive voice of this sentence a letter is 
being written by k so the third rule is present perfect tense present perfect tense the structure of present perfect tense subject plus has have plus third form plus object this is an active structure now the passive voice is object plus has have plus been plus third form by plus subject this is the passive structure so through an example he has written a letter he has written a letter this is an active voice what is the passive voice a letter has been written by him this is a passive voice now the fourth rule simple past tense simple past tense what is the structure of simple past tense subject plus second form plus object how we can change into passive voice object plus was verb plus third form plus by plus subject to an example he wrote a letter he wrote a letter this is an active sentence what is the passive sentence a letter was written by him this is a passive voice okay now rule number 5 past continuous tense past continuous tense the structure of past continuous tense subject plus was verb plus past form plus ing plus object this is the active structure what is the passive structure object plus was verb plus be plus third form by plus subject so this is the passive structure an example he was writing a letter this is an active sentence what is the passive sentence a letter was being written by him next is sixth rule past perfect tense the structure of subject plus had plus third form plus object and the passive structure of this sentence this is object plus had been plus third form plus by plus subject an example he had written a letter this is an active sentence what is the passive sentence a letter had been written by him now rule number 7 is future indefinite tense what is the structure of future indefinite tense subject plus b 
will shell plus plus form plus object and how we can change into passive voice object plus will shell plus b plus third form by plus object through an example he will write a letter this is an active sentence but in the passive sentence a letter will be written by him next is a tool future perfect tense what is the structure of future perfect tense subject plus will shall plus have plus third form plus object how we can change into passive voice object plus will shall plus having plus third form plus by plus subject through an example he will have written a letter this is an active sentence and what is a passive sentence a letter will have been written by him okay friends okay friends now line rule subject plus model plus past form plus object model means any model we can use here like can may could etc so how we can change into passive voice object plus same model we have to use here plus b plus third form plus subject sorry by plus subject to an example he can write a letter as the voice a letter can be written by him so friends same model you have to use here if here we have to use may then you have to use here may if we have to use here could then you have to use here could the same model you have to use in the passive voice so friends now you can easily understand there are basic nine rules to change active into passive voice and one thing more i want to tell you there are four tenses where uh, which i don't have used to change into active into passive voice first is present perfect continuous tense second is past perfect continuous tense third is future continuous tense and the fourth is future perfect continuous tense these four tenses we can't change into passive voice so friends thank you these are the basic nine rules we will discuss the next rule in the next week thank you have a nice day